Scorpios, welcome and guys, this is going to be a, well, in August 1st through the 15th, general reading, and this will be for my Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, okay? Guys, do take what resonates um, with you and your situation only, leaving the messages that are not for you, okay? Do like, share, comment, subscribe, all of my um, new subscribers returning subscribers i'm sending you guys all love and light all right scorpios i already feel like a very very intense feeling um getting into your energy so i know this is going to be a very powerful reading for you guys so let's hop right in we got coming in from our scorpios look <laughs> we have super moon energy that came out okay a vermonology deck and this says emotions are running high you Scorpios I feel it okay let me tell you guys um before I actually started recording this video I was trying to um, record you guys this reading and my phone just stopped recording and I realized that um I guess you know my my storage was kind of full I don't know how I missed that message but obviously I did and I had to go in and delete some things so I can make space to be able to do you guys this reading and like I said, while I was getting into your energy, I felt, you know, like a very, very intense shift. Um, emotions are running high. Super moons are very, very intense energy. So this is saying you guys moving into the first, you know, half of August, things are going to be pretty intense. All right. We have bring love into the situation, moon in Aquarius. So some of you guys may um, have a moon in Aquarius. You may be dealing with an Aquarius. And this is also telling me. We just had a full moon in Aquarius on August the 3rd. And with that being said, the energy is very, very um, intense. That's um, a fixed sign. You guys are a fixed sign. So this is definitely saying, Scorpios, that your emotions are running high. And while you are to bring love into the situation, I feel like there is going to be a need for balance. Yeah, I see the three of swords. I want to, um, let's clarify this emotions are running high before we actually go into your tarot. Clarify this for my Scorpios. Emotions are running high. What messages, Spirit, do you have for me to get to my Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right. So we have happy ending that came out. And this is very interesting because the themes with the, um, water signs, Scorpio and, um, Sorry, Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces. You guys kind of are getting like the same kind of energy. All right, you guys have happy ending that came out. Okay, um, number 93. Some of you guys may be born in 93. Some of you guys may have a life path number nine, a life path number three. All right, bottom of the deck, we have intuition. So I definitely feel like, yeah, it's a very intense, um, you know, feeling that you guys have for someone, something, some kind of situation and i feel like for you guys trusting your intuition bringing love into the situation is definitely going to um guide you guys in the right direction so let's hop in scorpios and see what you guys have coming in wow so the hermit wanted to flip out here this is um virgo energy okay so this is definitely saying that you guys are definitely going to start off i feel with this um hermit energy Feeling a little detached from your environment, feeling a little bit, you know, um, seclusive, really wanting to be by yourselves, really wanting to have that time, this space, and the ability to kind of tap into your, your inner self, okay? We have the Ten of Pentacles here, uh-oh, the Ace of Wands, okay? And let's see your outside energy, Scorpios. We have the Moon, wow. The Seven of Pentacles, the Fool here. All right, so we got Pisces, Aries energy here, and then your overall energy, the Queen of Wands. All right, and bottom of the deck, Strength. Okay, so some of you guys may be dealing with the Leo. Um, what this is telling me, I feel like with this Strength energy being on the bottom of the deck, this Queen of Wands here, Scorpio. So you guys are definitely in, an, you're in an energy where like you are, you know, taking these emotions and feelings that you have and you're really, really allowing them to drive you, to drive you to whatever it is that you guys are wanting to manifest. 
okay you see the queen of wands is here she has a black cat she has like a ball of fire in her hand this is like the queen of manifesting this is the queen of attracting this is the queen of actually um bringing in what she wants okay using you know her her energy her um strength her creativity to actually bring about a desired kind of outcome Okay, so for a lot of you guys, like I said, with this hermit energy, this is Virgo energy. You guys are definitely going to be in a, in a space where I see you're going to be, you know, wanting to take time to be to yourself, wanting to really do some inner um, reflecting on what stability means to you. This Ten of Pentacles energy, this is about family, home, stability, security. Okay, financial abundance. So I feel like you guys are really, really, you know, wanting that... Um, that commitment to either a person, a job, a situation, maybe support from your family. And with this Ace of Wands, it's like you guys are going to have this huge breakthrough that comes in. This is about, you know, your intuition, your your creative powers, your um, inspiration. So I feel like a big, huge source of inspiration is going to come in for you guys, the Scorpios. Now, as far as your outside environment, I feel like there is like a leap of faith that either you are wanting to make or someone is wanting to make. But with this moon energy, the seven of pentacles and the fool, I feel like there is like a period of waiting. Okay, there is a great period of waiting maybe on your end or on someone else's end because it's a lot of like deep emotions and it's a lot of things that's like really, really uncertain right now. Okay, someone is kind of unsure maybe about the direction or action that they need to take, maybe about the way that they're going to be able to take um, this leap of faith. But you can see with the moon and the hermit energy, it looks kind of the same. Okay, so you guys are definitely in like, you know, you're, you're in a different energy space, but it's very, very similar. Okay, this is Virgo and this is Pisces energy, which are opposite signs. And um, it's very interesting. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of deep revelations, like spending time by yourselves. All right, so let's um, actually clarify and see what's coming in because, like I said, someone wants to definitely have a new beginning with you, a leap of faith. You know, somebody wants to start something completely new. Someone wants to put the past behind you guys and just move forward. And I really cannot stand how my camera is <laughs> shaking. All right, let me see if I can get that. Sorry, guys. A little bit um, more sturdy because that is just, like, really bothering me. All right, so let's see what this hermit oh, energy is for you guys. So I'm going to take all of these cards, um, Scorpios. We have Strength. Again, Two of Cups. Wow. The Hangman, Pisces Energy, and then the Three of Pentacles. So yeah, with the Six of Swords, there is a huge blockage that's coming in the way of you guys either working with someone, building with someone, collaborating with someone. I feel like, you know, deep inside, this is like really, really what you guys want and what you desire. But at the same time, with strength being here, the Two of Cups and then the Hangman energy is definitely a blockage in regards to this um, coming into something that's, that's um, tangible. All right, with this Ten of Pentacles, someone wants something long-term, something stable, something that's going to be solid. All right, maybe someone um, wants, you know, uh, to build a family, to build something that's going to be, like, generational, to build, you know, a, a sense of a happy ending. All right, so, yep, we got the Tower, Scorpio, your energy. All right, and then the Queen of Cups with this Four of Wands. So, you guys want something stable. You want something solid. You want some commitment um, whether this is from a job, a partnership, a relationship. And I feel like you guys have been waiting with this tower and the queen of cups with this ten of pentacles. I feel like you guys have been um, really, really driven by your emotions in a huge way. Okay, with this tower, something is going to happen unexpectedly. For some of you guys, maybe someone does come in after some blockages and, you know, let you know like they want the same thing. Yep, look, two of wands. And then the sun. So you guys are going to get some clarity. You guys are going to get um, a situation that's going to be kind of brought to the light. And with this two of wands energy, you can have someone that's coming into you. And it's going to be something that kind of shocks you guys because it's been some blockages. All right. Why is the two of wands here? For some of you guys, this is going to be a choice or a decision that you are going to have to make. All right. Temperance is here. Sagittarius energy. And this is about healing. Okay. Divine time and patience. 
moderation. So four of wands here, there's definitely going to be some sort of decision um, that needs to be made in regards to healing either a relationship, some sort of commitment, some sense of um, stability in your lives, Scorpio. And it's going to require some patience. But there is going to be like a new start. We got the Queen of Swords and then the Ten of Cups. So you guys are going to have a new start. And for some of you guys with this world energy being here, it could mean that you are going to be deciding to either walk away from a situation and take a leap of faith or maybe not even walk away from a situation. I feel like with this tower moment, something, some huge shift is going to come in that's going to bring some healing. Like you guys are going to have to definitely choose this, of course, but it's going to bring in some happiness, some opportunities. All right, clarify the Queen of Swords. This is Libra, Aquarius, the Gemini energy, but this is also about, you know, making a decision, truth, honesty, fairness. The Queen of Swords is someone who's very, very um, intelligent, someone who, you know, has been through a lot, but she uses her past experiences to help her to be discerning and make the decisions she needs for her future. Yep, and then look, clarifying that we have the Ace of Cups. So I feel like you guys are going to make, um, you guys are going to be making a decision um, in regards to your future in some kind of way with this ace of wands ten of cups queen of swords and then the ace of cups you're going to have a new beginning okay look at this will of fortune something is destined to happen scorpios um it's like something good is working in your favor with this temperance energy this is also about things going on behind the scenes so i feel like you know something is going to come in and really change a lot of things it's like something working behind the scenes in your favor Okay, with this moon energy, like I said, with whoever you're dealing with um, or your outside influences, it's a lot of like uncertainty. It's a lot of unknown emotions, feelings, things that have been kept hidden. Why is the moon here? Pisces energy. Yep, the king of swords. <laughs> okay, so we have the king of swords and then the queen of swords is up there. So I feel like someone is definitely... Um, Someone has been in a space of confusion in regards to like the action that they wanted to take in their future, whoever you guys were dealing with or whoever you're connected with. Okay, but whoever this person is, it's like although they have all of these emotions, they have these different feelings, it's a little bit of, you know, uncertainty here with this King of Swords energy. Someone is making a decision or they've made their decision, Scorpios. And with this Seven of Pentacles, this is about waiting, you know, someone is waiting or either, you know, maybe trying to see like, okay, it's the decision that they made the right, the right choice. Uh-oh. So they got, we got four cards. So we got the hair font, Taurus energy, page of wands, judgment, and then the four of wands. So someone has definitely made a decision. And with this hair font, page of wands, and judgment with the four of wands, someone is like, okay, you know, have you learned your lesson? Um, and not even in a bad way, but someone has like learned their lesson and it's like they're now opening themselves up to wanting to be either committed or dedicated to this partnership. Like someone wants to take something to the next level. But with this five of wands here, this could mean that there's, you know, multiple people involved or there's just some competition or some conflict in regards to getting things off the ground. Okay, we have the fool and then the high priestess. Okay, with the moon here. So some of you guys are dealing with an Aries, maybe a Pisces. This is definitely telling me um, with this high priestess energy, with the full here, someone is very intuitive. Someone is going to be receiving like a lot of information through their intuition, through their dreams. Okay, so maybe your person is like going to just have a moment of really figuring out like how to move things forward. Okay, out of... Um, them moving from a place of like waiting and kind of not really knowing like what to do knowing what they wanted to do but not really knowing the action to take they're going to actually take some sort of action i feel like it's going to shock you guys yep look here's the queen of wands okay and this is your energy over here scorpio so let's clarify that queen of wands six of swords yep someone is going to be moving forward someone is you know determining like a move or a decision or a way to come towards you guys um, in some kind of way. And this is something that I feel like you guys have definitely manifested. Okay, let's see what your angel message is. So I feel like there's definitely something that you guys have manifested that is coming in. All right, for some of you guys, this could be a creative new project. For others of you, this could be, you know, like I said, commitment in some kind of way, whether this is like a business partnership, relationship. 
but I do see happy ending here. So something that's going to um, end to end a happy ending. We have organized for success. This came out in Pisces reading. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Pisces. This says, do not let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. Okay, and then bottom of the deck, we have words of abundance. So this says you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own in the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms, and that is what you attract for yourself and others. Okay, so for some of you guys, this could be like an um, opportunity in regards to work. Like I said, with this um, Queen of Wands energy, I'm definitely seeing that you guys are, you've been manifesting something in, okay? Look what's on the bottom of the deck, raise or promotion. Okay, that's behind this words of abundance. You guys are manifesting some sort of raise, some sort of promotion, some sort of advancement of moving something to the next level. All right, and a lot of you guys need to go ahead and start to get organized, get prepared for this to come in. All right, trust your intuition. But this is what I have, my beautiful Scorpios. If you did enjoy your message, do like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.